is going on everyone welcome back to the series um, today I am looking at just doing uh, another update for you as well kind of talking about my uh, current workout plan a little bit so in terms of updates it's only been three days since my last update so not much has really changed I'm still eating very similar foods um, my weight hasn't actually gone down so it's stayed pretty well the same but i'm not looking to correct anything yet i will wait until the end of the week and kind of see what my average was as well as see what the final weigh-in is but i'm not going to jump into any type of uh, further deficit so that will remain the same for the rest of the week but I am incorporating that extra day of cardio. So I have done two days of cardio so far, one on Sunday and one yesterday on uh, Tuesday. So those were done. I plan on doing cardio after my workout today, which I don't really like to do. I like to kind of split them up, but because I'm doing four days a week and I didn't get to cardio earlier, by the time I actually am working out, it's gonna be pretty late, and then I'm gonna to have to suck it up and just do my 20 minutes of cardio. So it's probably gonna be just a brisk walk at a high incline on the treadmill because today is leg day. So it's kind of double sucky because I hate doing cardio, and then I definitely hate doing cardio after I just work the legs, but it will get done because consistency is key right now. So for my leg day, I kind of wanted to just talk about how I plan on programming it. So for me, I like to, right now, like I find I have very good definition within my quads. However, my hamstrings, I feel like are one of my weaker body parts. And so I've been really trying to at least focus on that where I will do either hamstring curls or some type of hamstring exercise to start off my workout. What I'm actually gonna do today is I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm gonna start with some, uh, just some good mornings, just to kind of stretch it out, get them fired up. And then I'm going to be doing uh, some deadlifts. After the deadlifts, then I'm going to do front squats and probably some, uh, some walking lunges are going to be like my main lifts um we'll see how that kind of goes i don't want to completely wipe myself out and yeah i'm just trying to feel out these higher rep ranges because i have been doing pretty low rep range for a while now so i don't want to hammer it too hard especially being in a deficit my recovery is going to be a little bit slower than it normally is but um yeah, I typically will do three to four sets for each exercise. And then as well, um, right now I'm looking at eight to 12 rep range. And yeah, that is pretty well what my game plan is. I think I'm gonna incorporate a little bit more. I really didn't plan my workout out today. I was thinking of going to the gym and actually getting some machine work in and stuff, but I changed my mind and decided I wanted to sweat it out in my garage and then do some cardio. So yeah, I'm already sweating just filming this video. So I know it's going to be a sweaty one today, but uh, yeah, so that is my thought process just to try to get a nice little pump going on. I might decide to throw in maybe a superset or some reps to failure. So I will kind of play it based on how I'm feeling right now. And um, yeah, I will show you some clips of my training so that you can kind of see what I ended up doing because it might change. But that is it. My current workout split is I do legs and then I typically will do a upper body push day and then a, an upper body pull day. Uh, my pull days I've been doing at the actual gym because like I said before, I had some bands snap on me recently because they're kind of slowly wearing down and it terrifies me. So 
doing the pull day at the gym has definitely been really nice. Every once in a while I'll do a pull day here uh, and just do a little bit more barbell work and then I also have the pull up bar so get some weighted pull ups in and things like that. But uh, yeah, I like doing that one at the actual gym and just having the machines available to kind of assist with just making things easy. And then my push day, I typically will do here just because for the most part, I have everything that I would like, but I trickle in a gym workout here and there because they do have some nice machines, especially for like flies and stuff. I don't have a lot of dumbbells, so it's nice to be able to go to the gym and do some dumbbell flies or do some uh, presses on like some actual machines where I'm not just constantly using barbells. So that is also good, but yeah, that is the current workout plan. It's been kind of fun doing my own thing. I've been following um, some sort of plan for quite a while. And this is just kind of like my nice break while I'm doing this deficit. I just kind of wanted to try to find something that I enjoy. I want to slowly start incorporating a little bit more uh, calisthenics work and, and body weight stuff just to get that body weight manipulation back especially once I get to a little bit lighter weight. Um, I always have fun with uh, doing some body weight and calisthenics things. So I have done some programs in the past for calisthenics. So I'd love to be able to get back to that. But right now doing those, <laughs> just doing weight, some light, light weighted pull-ups has been tough. So uh, I definitely need to work on that and build that up a little bit more before I can jump into something like that but I have been slowly incorporating it. So that's exciting as well. I do need to get more consistent on my core work because I have not been, I've been neglecting that the most. I've been pretty consistent with calves because ever since I gained a bunch of weight, my calves have gotten a lot larger and it's been exciting to actually work them out because I can tell they're much bigger and it's been awesome. So that was exciting, but ab work has been push to the wayside every once in a while I'll, you know do a little bit here and there but for the most part I definitely neglect it so I want to start doing a little bit more planking and just some some real some good core work so I like to do c sits planks and then as well I usually do like some banded crunches um, or weighted sit-ups things like that so I will try to be more consistent on that throwing it out there so that I can try to hold myself accountable to that one but um, yeah, I will probably incorporate a couple core days a week at least, so two to three probably. Uh, we'll see, because I know my core is gonna take a butt kicking because I've neglected it for so long. I just recently did like some side crunches and uh, I think some hanging leg raises and my core was sore. For, <laughs> my abs were sore for like three days and it was just the worst trying to like sit up or anything, so. I do need to get consistent with that. But I feel like I am rambling, so I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout clips, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.